Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be doing a reading all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. What are their thoughts or feelings about you? What's in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you? Let's get right into this. Spirits, angels, guides. What messages do you have for Cancer? The sign of Cancer. <clears throat> for Cancer. Okay, first card out is separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. What else for Cancer? Overall energies. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. What's this? I wanted to come out. Love yourself first. Interesting. So clearly this is um, for those of you who are not with your person right now. Perhaps you are with someone, but you've been thinking about separating or you kind of see that that's coming up for your connection. Interesting. Let's see what the overall energies here are. Give more energy oracles for Cancer. So I'm using my new Stellar Energy Oracle deck. I love this so much. It's available now. If you're curious, link down below in the description box. Spirit, what, what other information can we get about this connection? What's the overall energy for this connection? Difficult decision, okay? This decision could lead you down two different paths. I want this one too. Wow, okay. Mirrored souls, you're, you mirror each other in this special connection. Soulmate, mutual feelings, fate. This could be regarding a soulmate or a very special connection that you have with someone. Can I get another card please for the sign of cancer? Wow, wedding bells. Wedding bells are ringing, marriage commitment union. So either this is headed towards a long-term commitment or one of you are already in a commitment, but there's a connection here. Bottom of the deck, I have unexpected event. Revelation, upheaval, endings, unexpected or shocking events have shaken things up. Came out with the wedding bells card. Hmm, this is um, my card for like the tower, something unexpected, something you don't see coming, etc., etc. I feel like it's related to a commitment of some sort. So let's get some more information here. Tell me more for Cancer, please. Regarding love, angels, guys, what does Cancer need to know? Regarding love, February 2021. For cancer. Okay, let's see what we get. The devil, first card out, Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with someone that has Capricorn in their chart, or perhaps someone's having some sort of decision they need to make regarding an unhealthy attachment. Uh, Eight of Pentacles reversed with the Two of Pentacles reversed. Something is not working out. Um, someone's not able to keep something together, keep something up in the air. A pentacle needs to drop here. And then seven of wands reversed. Overall energy is the strength card. Leo energy here. Could be dealing with a Leo or there's something that requires courage or someone needs to look at a situation not look at a situation, but handle a situation um, with a different approach. Let's see, we'll clarify these and get some more information. Tell me more for Cancer Spirit. Let's provide some clarity for the sign of Cancer regarding love. Okay, 
All right, let's start with this strength card. What's this about? Why is strength here? Why is this the overall energy? Three of Pentacles reversed. Another card about things not working, um, people not working together, not enough effort or energy or the adequate effort or energy is being put into a situation or a connection. Tell me more about the Strength card. I don't want to jump into a third person or an interference just yet, so we'll see what we get. Judgment. Wow. An awakening, a realization, evaluating the past, learning from the past, ready to move forward into a new cycle. Someone could be making a judgment call as well. Tell me more about the strength card. Okay, this one to Mount Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. Uh, an opportunity that has taken a long time to get to you. Perhaps because someone needed to have this awakening first. Or, you know, make this judgment call to have a new opportunity. And I have the Six of Wands at the bottom. So, success, recognition, victory. Interesting. Okay, so let's keep going. Why is the devil reversed? Not reversed. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? The full reverse. Why is the devil here? King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy with the Knight of Pentacles as well. <clears throat> so when I get these two cards together, the full reverse with the King of Wands, I think of someone making a calculated risk. Or something could be a reckless or risky move and they're going to go for it. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Two of Cups reversed. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here? Five of Cups. Interesting. Um, obviously the Two of Cups reversed. This is a breakup or a separation, a disconnect. I feel like this King of Wands is missing someone, possibly regretting that decision. Her face is like, oh no, what did I do? They're looking at the past, thinking of the past. Because I have the Judgment card here. Can I get one more for this King of Wands? I get one more. This King of Wands. Okay, I got two. Knight of Cups. King of Swords Reverse. Wow, the Knight of Cups. This could be somebody apologizing for deception or a bad conversation. This could be somebody expressing how they feel. Maybe they weren't uh, open or honest about that. I feel like someone um, has not been able to let go of this, whatever happened in the past. This could be you or your person. I'm picking up it could be, for a lot of you, your person. Okay, why is the Eight of Pentacles with reverse with the Two of Pentacles reverse? Why are these two energies here? Nine of Cups reverse. And then the Ace of Swords. Clarity, breakthrough, communication. Can I get one more, please? Why is the Eight of Pentacles reverse with the Two of Pentacles reverse? Hmm. 
four of cups reverse. So something I'm noticing, um, I have the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups upright. Um, I have the Judgment card, the Ace of Swords upright. But I also have cards about someone or like something not working out, someone having regrets or looking at the past, um, changing their heart or their mind about something, having renewed interest in something with the Four of Cups reversed. It's almost like someone doesn't want to be unhappy anymore. They don't want to, it's almost like they don't want to lose out on something. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Ten of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Knight of Wands, another knight upright. I feel like this is someone, wow, and I have the Ace of Cups right at the bottom. So it's like this is someone that's really motivated by emotion, by what they feel, um, by new love. But I feel like there's going to be a loss of some sort with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, possibly a commitment that is broken, whether this was a commitment that was broken in the past between you and this person or a commitment they have to break now. Maybe one of you is married at this time or in a commitment at this time. I feel like someone wants to talk about this, wants to have a new beginning. I have the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Swords. So why is the Seven of Wands reverse? Why is the Seven of Wands reverse? The Hangman. The Five of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands reverse? Three of Cups. Interesting. Then I have the Eight of Pentacles reversed again. So I feel what I'm picking up here is um, the Seven of Wands reverse is usually a card about no longer resisting, no longer fighting back, um, not having the courage to face the opposition or wanting to fight anymore. Um, I have the hangman here. So with the hangman and judgment, there's clarity here. Someone's looking at a situation differently um, and the strength card. And then I have the five of wands. So conflict, opposition, challenge. It's like someone doesn't want to deal with the drama or the conflict that will come with a reunion or within a third three people situation or um because this is a card about the three of cups is a card about coming together so it's almost like someone doesn't want to fight to have a reunion it's almost like what i'm getting here because someone doesn't want to put in effort or or cannot put in the amount of effort or energy that is required in order to do this. Why is the uh, Three of Cups here? Tell me about this Three of Cups. The Moon reversed. Wow. Pisces energy. Something coming to the light. That's that unexpected event. That is that shocking situation. Something that, and look what's right behind that, secret admirer. So it's almost like someone here, it's like they don't longer want to fight. It's almost like they don't want to fight their own clarity or the realization that they've come to. Wow, eight of cups. Bottom of the deck, I have the hermit. Virgo energy and then the ace of wands reverse so what I'm getting here is I feel like someone secretly wants you or secretly 
is coming to a realization about what they truly want, what they know they have to make a difficult decision. And again, this could be you as well. Take it as it resonates. But they know there's a difficult decision that needs to be made in order to have a soulmate a coming together. This is something they've realized. They've had some sort of an awakening. They, they know that they possibly are going to have to cause a tower or walk away from something or someone here. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. It's almost like they need to walk away from whatever this is. Uh, in order to come to you with all these offers that, you know, that have so many knights here. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, there's another offer. And then the Six of Wands. So that's clear as day. Someone would need to walk away to make some sort of offer to you. And this is what they want to do. Um, I feel like this is going to be a shock or something surprising here. Okay, what are the challenges or the blocks? We're also going to get some advice. What are the challenges or the blocks? There's the moon. Okay, so this will definitely want to come out. The moon. Something hidden, something, uh, a secret, um, something that is possibly an illusion. Something unknown. What's a challenge or a block to this connection? For cancer. Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this is probably going to take a while to get to you. I have the Knight of Pentacles twice. They already are taking a long time to get to whatever place they want to go to to deliver some sort of offer or have some sort of opportunity. So what I'm getting here is um, a challenge or a block could also be that you don't know this. You don't know, you don't expect this, or you don't see this coming. Or perhaps there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of. Um, perhaps this person is working in secret or secretly admiring you, but they're not telling you. And so the connection cannot progress, cannot move forward. Um, they might even take way too long and you're probably already in some other commitment or some other phase in your life. Why is the moon and the Knight of Pentacles a challenge or a block? Why are these two a challenge or a block spirit? Okay. I have the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Cups again, and then the Queen of Wands reverse. Again with the Knight of Swords, uh, fast movement, uh, communication, having to walk away. So again, that idea of um, this is challenged or blocked because someone needs to take some sort of action here, communicate in some way. But with the Queen of Wands reverse, it's like there might be someone uh, upset or uh, rushing in possibly too quickly that maybe they don't want to do that maybe they want to take their time do things right um, Queen of Wands tends to uh, crave attention or be kind of an attention hog um, they act out typically this could be something that they you know they jump into things so it could be that this person is dealing with someone like that or they don't want to have that they don't want to have that be their behavior or the way that they approach this situation Let's get some guidance for you. I'm using my Stellar Guidance deck here. This is also available. It's listed down below. Any guidance or messages for Cancer? Guidance, please, for Cancer. First card out is you deserve more. And be patient. Bottom of the deck, release the past. Interesting. So this can be taken in a few ways. I feel like this is, um, this you deserve more could also be for your person. Like maybe they're realizing that they're not truly happy and you know, they would need to make a change in their life in order to have happiness. Or perhaps you're realizing that what this person gave you in the past, it's, it's not enough this time around. Maybe they know that. Um, I feel like be patient is because this is not going to be overnight. This is going to take time. Some of you, I've gotten some comments that say, well, I've waited like 10 years. Um, I don't think you're meant to wait for anybody that long, <laughs> but who knows? You know, it's, it's spirit has their own way of 
writing our stories and dealing with, you know, putting things in our paths and all that. Um, I feel like this is for those of you who are dealing with someone who maybe um, is going to come to you with the right, with release the past. I feel like either this is having to be a connection that's completely different than it was in the past, or this is something where both of you need to release something from the past, walk away from something in order to be together. It'll be different for all of you. So thank you to everyone that takes the time to be sweet uh, in the comments. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in another video. Take care.